factory has a capacity of six to eight tons per hour. So I think that it's early days yet because it's going to depend on the capacity that we produce per uh, the plantations. Already we've started with about 200 acres, you know, and we're looking at covering about um, 10,000 over a period of five years. Two and a half, three years, yeah, conservatively, that's right. By that time, the factory, because we already imported the machines that are coming, we brought the steel beans to start putting the structures up. So I would say presently, we started presently. Yeah. Expectations, that's what I'm saying, that we want to do about uh, 10,000 acres over a period of five years. And over that period, we're looking at employing about 5,000 people, both direct and indirect. Yes. Because, for instance, if you are an outgrower, part of the scheme, you're earning good income, so you can empower your wife to set up an HVA job bar or go to Accra, buy brand new, we will come and sell. That's indirect and many more. You know, so looking at it both directly, you know, we're looking at about 5,000 people over that period. It could be more. We all know that uh, this illegal mining is destroying the environment. And then this area was chosen for this project because the Achim Abuakwa in the Kwapim areas offer the most conducive climate for a project like this. So this is going to be more like an alternative livelihood, you know, for the mining community. So those who do can easily be attracted to come in once they see people getting on board because people keep on coming. Chiefs are coming, people are coming, they want to get involved and I'm sure that over time that's going to make people leave that and come when they appreciate that this is the way forward. Yes, because this is sustainable.